here with Washington State women's basketball players Charlize Ledger Walker and Terrell Wallach. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with Charlize Ledger Walker. Charlize, historic day for you. You score your 1,000th career point at Washington State. You tie the record for quickest to 1,000 career points in a career. You did it in 57 games. That ties you with Jeannie Eggert for the quickest to 1,000 here at Washington State. So congratulations. Just, you know, what can you say about scoring 1,000 points and what does this accomplishment mean, not only for you, but maybe just all of New Zealand basketball to have a Division One Power Five player score 1,000 points at this level? Yeah, I mean, first thought that comes to mind is just super honoured to, you know, put my name up there with some legends that were already here at WSU. Um, you know, in terms of New Zealand, I think there's also been a couple of other girls um, that have scored a thousand as well. So again, honoured to be in that list. But, you know, overall, I just want to credit my teammates for that. I mean, they're the ones who put me in those positions to score. Um, obviously, the assist we had today kind of shows that. Um, you know, 23 as a team is great for us. We shared the ball a lot and that um, obviously contributes to a lot of why um, I'm open to score and get those buckets. So, yeah, just all credit to my teammates, really. And then Tara, career high 20 points for you. Uh, just what was working well with, that, with you out there and just what, was, what were you able to do to get kind of into the offensive flow and just have this offensive explosion? Um, I think it really was teammates as well. We were all just looking for each other in transition. I got easy bunnies a bunch. So yeah, just my teammates getting me the open looks and just me finishing my layups. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned a few other New Zealanders that had a thousand. I think you might know one, maybe one you're, you're related to by, by chance. Uh, it's going to be some bragging rights. You did it faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, maybe a little comment here and there, but no. Obviously, Crystal, you know, um, so proud of everything she accomplished in her college career. I'm kind of, you know, just following in her footsteps, really. So um, she laid the groundwork down for that. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, you know, have a little chat with her, give her a little slight <laughs> comment here and there. Let her know. Did you realize you'd hit a thousand, or not until they put it on the board? I knew, um, you know, coming into the game that I could potentially hit a thousand. I think I don't know what it was like, fourteen or. 12 or something um, at the time like after I hit that three I didn't realize it was then until like my teammates started <laughs> patting me on the back and people started standing up I was like what is going on I think it was during a timeout and then I saw on the big screen they um, you know had the graphic up there so no I didn't know at the time but um, yeah, it, was, it was a really cool moment <laughs> Last two games, 59 points. Uh, you're 16 of your last 23. It just seems like there's a, we found another. You found another level that you know maybe hadn't been even seen before, and, and that's you know I think a, a pretty high standard to set. I, I think so. Um, I think just, you know, getting in the gym over the summer, I got a lot of shots up. And I think just taking confidence from that going into these games is kind of why, um, you know, I'm able to take those shots and making a lot more than maybe I was this time last year. So um, I think a bit of that. And then again, you know, our team is just stepping up and we're making those um, plays to get people open, which is, you know, again, why I can get so many of those points. Tara, just one point against San Francisco. Um, come back with the career high, as Chris said. <laughs> eight of eight from two. Just what kind of did you see in the defense? What were they giving you look-wise um, that kind of helped you, you get to 20? Um, I think I just running in transition, the easy bunnies, and then just creating my own shot like off of the rebounds or just my teammates finding me. Yeah. <laughs> For either one of you, um, obviously you didn't start well against San Francisco, down 15 at half. What was kind of the emphasis to make sure you got off to a hot start today and, and didn't get behind the eight ball and have to come back with a, a dramatic, you know, turnaround late? Mm. Yeah, you know, it's definitely um, the energy we bring into the game. I think at San Francisco, you know, first game on the road, um, you know, we can have a lot of excuses to not start well, but ultimately I think it was our warm-up and everything leading up to that game. I think we were a bit complacent, um, didn't have the energy we needed to, and it showed in that first half, you know, they got away to a really good start and we had to grind back. And just luckily we can and we're able to do that, but, you know, obviously we don't want to be in that position. So coming out today, that was a big focus in our warm-up, just getting that energy, staying together, staying positive, and really going hard right from the get-go. So you guys started the game by uh, raising your, the banner for the second straight year mm -hmm. uh, for your NCAA tournament appearance. How did, how did that feel, and how, how, is, what, what, what will it take to do that again next year? Um, it felt amazing, just knowing <laughs> this is my second year here, knowing we could go back to back to back, and it's all because of this one here. <laughs> I want to say a thousand points. <laughs> this girl here really does everything for us. She is the motor of the team, the leader of the team, and just is so much for us. So yeah, she is the reason. <laughs> 
he's just being nice. <laughs> Awesome. And um, so Tara, uh, Coach Etheridge spoke to the summer that you had with the Canadian national team mm -hmm. and kind of the work that you did and, um, last season and then kind of the improvement that you've had this season. I guess, how, how did your summer go and how do you feel now compared to last year? Um, my summer went really well. Um, I got two gold medals, which is really cool. And then I think just from last year to this year, I've gained so much more confidence mm -hmm. in just my offensive playing abilities and then my defensive playing abilities as well and just like knowing all the positions on the court so when I am there I can play what spot is needed and then yeah just my confidence has really gone up. She's just a savage now. <laughs> She's a savage. Fantastic. And Charlize, um, speaking of savages, you had that one over the shoulder and over the <laughs> pass. I guess what goes into making epic plays like that? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes those plays just come to me. I don't really just, like... It's just natural <laughs> for her. <laughs> um, like, I don't know. It all was just open and instead of turning my body all the way around... No, no, I'm kidding. It's, it's just something fun. You know, I kind of practice, kind of don't. Not really practice those, but... It just, it just happens in the moment. <laughs> awesome. And so this, of course, was a unique game as it was the first in the Pac-12 Southwest Athletic Conference mm -hmm. Legacy Series. I guess what kind of went into today and what have you enjoyed from today? Yeah, I think this new Legacy Series is um, really cool and not just for, you know, our conference or anything, but women's basketball in general. Um, I think it's like going to be a really cool tradition to be a part of and obviously us being, uh, I think obviously the first um, to start this is a really cool moment as well and for our team we knew that coming in that this was a big game, um, a statement game um, and yeah all of us you know are on board to keep that going um, you know in the future. Well thank you both so much for your time. Congratulations on the win and we'll talk to you next week before we head to Hawaii. Good luck out there and go Kooks. Appreciate go it. Kooks. Go Kooks. <laughs>